Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another YouTube video. We're just gonna have to look past this hair. I know I look like a cave girl. I've been up since six o'clock, had to collect my hair last night because I didn't have time to do it this morning. But today I'm bringing you a charity shop video. However, this is not gonna be like one of my normal thrift of me. I do have a section of a thrift of me in this video, but I'm also gonna be telling you guys my tips and trips tips and trips tips and tricks well, not really tricks just my tips for when i go to the charity shop before i share all my tips with you if you're not ready make sure to subscribe to my channel i literally would love to have you over here i'm trying to get to 2000 subscribers before the end of the year so yeah i really hope you enjoy this video okay so we're in british heart foundation foundation now. foundation sure i'm trying to jack it on didn't fit in no we don't Did i can't find the other one well you're putting it over another one please Mm. What do you think? I think it's fucking bang. I'm annoyed they don't fit me. Is it the night line? What are they called? Trench coat, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But it doesn't look that oversized, and oversized enough, so I'm going to see. What size is it? About 14. From you look. Like Seven, Seven pounds, not that bad. But you're loving your blazers yeah. at the minute, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Please. Oh, yeah, you always go straight to the men's section. Mm -hmm. Leave you for two minutes and you've picked up what four things? Nah, not a fan of that. What else you got then? Yeah, the blazer. Yeah, definitely too big. It's just too big, like, not even length, it's just here. Here, just and where? the shoulders. Here, like, there's just so much here. Yeah. Because it's like, supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, from the back, that looks alright. Yeah. But... <laughs> Maybe the men's shoulders are just... It's not... You can finish, you can take the shoulders out and say it's here. This is women's, so it doesn't have those big shoulder pads. Back at it again with another blazer. Ooh. Yeah, it's expensive in this one, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Okay. All the Ralph Polos there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, charcoal. Um, trench coat, I do look like it. It's £12. Originally, uh, and this. I like the really like it, yeah, I really like the colour of that. It's nice. Jesus, that's awesome winger. It's nice, though. I like it. It's tied up at the back. Hmm? Coming like a detective. Yeah, it's nice. I probably wrote about the belt, I think. Mm. I don't know, I think it looks alright with the belt, you know. Oh no. You discovered some poo. This is why we should bring wipes. This is so big. Mm. Yeah, it's fair so long big. in the arms. And how big it is. Yeah. So I am how it has poo on so, it. So my first little tip for you would be to go in literally any charity shop you see. I literally do this if I see a charity shop I'm like right yeah see ya I'm going in so when we were in Cornwall um it was like a rainy day we went to Bodmin charity shops there were actually really good so if you're ever in the area or like Cornwall area and you have time to spare go to the Bodmin charity shops it's like a few on the high road when I was driving back from Birmingham for my graduation we also stopped in Harpenden and looked in those charity shops you don't need to go to like expensive areas to find good pieces like Soho Chelsea they're probably gonna have good stuff but I also think like it's gonna be more expensive charity shops a hit and miss all the time so if you've had a bad, bad experience of like cherry shops on the high road once doesn't mean you shouldn't go back you've just got to have patience because you're not always going to find stuff and 
of like you shouldn't really go in with a mind of like I want to find certain things that like you can go in like I want to find a blazer because you probably will find blazers every charity shops have blazers but like say if you're going in like I want this specific blazer like this like this like let's be honest you're probably not going to find that but another little thing is there are like independent charity shops so like I have one on my high road they are normally really good they're normally cheaper another thing is it actually are sale charity shops I've only seen one of these and it was in Harpenden it was a sale like a discount charity shop everything was one or two pounds and honestly you'd think like surely this stuff's gonna be rubbish they actually had some really nice bits in there I didn't buy anything that day but there were actually some really nice bits in there and then actually do need to take a trip back to Harpenden also in the charity shops there's also a sale rack always always look in the sale racks um, I look in the kids section sometimes you can kind of the kids sections are normally a lot smaller so you can kind of like see uh, sometimes without having to look for it always look in the kids section especially if you're into like reworking and sewing because i've seen girls buy like leggings and turn them into like little bras and stuff which is so cool so when i go to the charity shops i always go and look in the men's section first for blazers and t-shirts and jumpers i don't really pay attention to size in the charity shops unless it's on like bottoms i'm not going to go and buy like a size six bottoms because i know like i'm not going to get my body in that um but jumpers t-shirts shorts that have like tie waist stuff like that I don't pay attention to sizes, I'll just try it on. So if you like something, don't really pay attention to the size, just go and try it on and see if you like it, see how it fits. If you see a blazer in the men's section that you like, honestly, just go try it on. If it fits perfectly, but you're worried about shoulders, you can literally take the shoulder pads out, it's so easy. You literally just un stitch it on the inside and take the shoulder pads out and then like re -sew it. So, so easy. And I kind of like get a feel for how it would look without the shoulder pads by like pulling it down, because obviously the seam is gonna move when the shoulder pads aren't in it. Also, another little thing, if you're obsessed with mini bags, like I am, Charity shops are the best place for this. So I didn't find them for ages and ages and ages. And I was like, I really just want a playback mini bag. And then I found two in one charity shop. And then I didn't find any for ages again. And then I found two when I went to a charity shop to my boyfriend. So yeah, like I said, it is just for testing. You've just got to keep looking, keep going. But I say those are like all my tips for charity shopping. Just literally go into all the charity shops you see. I actually haven't been to like ones like in Soho and stuff like that. We also have like the actual like thrift places in London, which is like Rocket, Beyond Retro, Oh, what is that other one called i can't remember the name of it which are obviously a lot more expensive than like charity shops so um yeah i don't actually have a haul for you guys today because on this particular day i'll admit it well it's been a little bit fussy there was a jacket that i liked but then i was like oh i saw some other jackets in the other shop and then when i walked up to the other shops i was like oh my god like actually i'm not walking back down to that other charity shop it's so far down the high road uh, kind of regretting it because it was a really really nice like trench coat mac that's the worst thing when you come home from a charity shop trip and you're like regretting not buying that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are someone that thrifts you've taken like a little tip away from this or if you're not someone that's thrift i hope i've inspired your charity shop i hope i've inspired you to go to your local charity shops yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye